All right, Test Drive fans, it's that time of the year again. Let's take a look at the all-new The Racer trailer for TDUSC. Now, this is going to be my live reaction, and then we're going to take a quick look at a breakdown, show you guys all the things you missed, including some newly revealed vehicles and just some minor details that you don't want to miss. So let's get started on this. All right, here we go, live reaction. What we got? Shouts to the Corvette. Nice little drift there. This looks to be on the southern side of the island. Okay, workshop. So we're about to take a look at the tuning. All right. There's a lot there. <laughs> They went through that quick. We'll take a look at it in the breakdown, though. All right, all tuned up, new tires. Oh, this is the racetrack. Oh, they finally showed us some gameplay of it. nice up ahead is actually one of the vehicles when we uh release yo the uh, listen the game is looking graphically oh the parking garage has been revealed. We love to see it, man. And that's the little camera. Pedestrian, listen, they added some pedestrians. Instant challenge. Came back for the revenge. Okay, and there we go, guys. Now, there is no release date. That's probably going to come early next year, I only assume. But pretty good trailer. Listen, I'm liking it. But now, let's take a look at the breakdown. Let's take a look at anything we missed. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to pause right here. It looks to be on the southern side of the island, guys. I'll pop up on the screen some Google Maps imagery for you guys so we can go ahead and take a look. Um, this is definitely on the southern side. More on the western, though western south side of the island so the first thing i want to point out is the beginning of the trailer you guys can see we have the huracan performante with obviously its level being 647 so we'll continue on from there show up to one of the numerous workshops around the island so don't forget there are workshops located throughout the island this is the location at cyberport you go inside you see some other players there other vehicles the alpine a110 the nissan gtr the mustang now this is where it speeds up pretty damn quickly we're gonna have to do this frame by frame so we have obviously performance which you guys can see there move you on you have engine kit which can show you guys upgrading obviously your engine so you have air intake and fuel first off which obviously increases your engine's performance you also have ignition valves and camshaft that you can upgrade now it's worth noting i know you guys are gonna be like oh my god common on common rear epic is this Forza horizon guys this in fact the letter video that i'm also gonna cover after is a furthest thing from Forza horizon i do want to point out from what i remember kt said it's more to just vary the prices so at first glance you know you can obviously tell something that's legendary is going to be more expensive than something that's common now you can see that there is levels that you need to get in order to unlock these extra parts so the higher level you are it seems you'll be able to get access to more parts so i assume that there would be a different level to unlock for each one continue on though you have this next frame which again piston and flywheels next you have exhaust which by the way changing your exhaust does actually change the sound of the vehicle very nice to hear that as well 
Uh, moving on though, you have the brake packages. So obviously you upgrade your brakes, you get better brakes. And obviously the same thing falls along. It seems that it, the unlock level is going to be the same for each like upgrade from stock performance, sport, super sport and race. Uh, continue on you also have suspensions which is a very cool thing again if you move over to next you guys can see that obviously it changes your height and we'll get into tuning at a later time because that's kind of more bundled in with the letter so if you want to find out more in depth about what this all does check out the video which i'll link at the end of this video so obviously you have stock off-road all roads super sport and track um the next one you have is the transmission kit which obviously you can change the gearbox as well as the uh transmission now it's worth noting that the gearbox and again it is also explained in the letter there is gear ratio tuning which you can change so you have all of these different ones so again you have transmission as well which is upgradable throughout all the levels here continue on though you have aerodynamics kit which you can work on the chassis upgrade that if you want to you also have the aero kit which again you can upgrade that if you want to as well and then moving on you have tires which for the first time don't know why any game hasn't done this yet when you change a tire the actual tire tread changes so you have all season off-road these would look so meaty pause on a ford raptor you also have these semi slicks and then you also have full six which obviously is going to be full six um there's a screenshot i'll pop it up on the screen right now bam um i'm gonna cover this also in my full letter video we have that looking clean moving on you have the ecu which they didn't actually tune but you can change the ecu now cosmetic there's a lot here so there is a livery design which you have a new livery and livery collection let me just move out of the way there so you have those two things that you can change obviously pretty much like wt generations manufacturer colors carbon chrome matte metallic pearlescent satin and solid colors you can choose from and for the first time in a test driver limited game if you go over to cosmetic parts which if i backtrack here if you click on cosmetic then cosmetic parts you now have license wheel rims so it looks like we have black rhino and we also have kmc which of course here i am on kmc's website you guys can see right here these rims are actually in test drive on them to solar crown and if we go ahead and find black rhino you guys can see we also have rims here so there are some pretty nice looking rims i'm very curious to see what other licensed brands they have in this game for rims but those are the rims that we see so far that are confirmed to be in the game and considering that there's this pretty much very long uh scroll list i would like to assume this is a decent amount and there is also obviously your stock rim options your factory wheel options for whatever car you have very cool window tints are now in the game as well and you also have interior options which you can change and of course two to natural uh perforated inserts it's guys it's literally a tdu game in terms of customization now it looks like those are the only menus for now i'm interested to see maybe in the future they add uh like brave's body kits or for example factory options for aerodynamics something like that it would be very interesting to see the route that they go but let's move on to the next part of the trailer so they get the car tuned and now it's about to head out and hunt down this lamborghini now one thing i want to point out that you might have actually missed if i rewind this really quick right about here you can actually see the back wheels lifting off the ground and yes so these little bumps and curves do matter in the game very nice to see we'll continue pressing play here go under the tunnel to the track very nice oh man drifting looks very clean and before i even forget to mention it right here you can see a shot at the all new loaded well not all new the lotus exige 430 cup um uh, the final edition i think if i remember correctly but that is one of the lotuses that is in the game first time it's ever in an uh open world racing game as well which this car list i will have to make a video on because it's actually pretty damn special it may not seem like it but there's a lot of cars that are exclusive to tdusc let's continue on though and just in case you want to see the front right there is just a front view of that vehicle if i can find there we go you guys can see it right there let's continue on though mustang gtr there as well i'm gonna turn around now you can see that this race layout now by the way this is the actual location in real life let's hop over to google earth real quick okay so here we are on google earth my friends now the racetrack is actually located literally right here now the solar hotel is right here so it's not that far of a drive down and it's so funny looking at this guys 
and seeing how they've done the racetrack it's very true to life honestly so basically you have the outer ring that serves as i guess you could say a nascar daytona type of track and then the inside of the track is obviously a proper circuit and if you don't remember up on the screen right now it's just a screenshot of the track from what we've seen in the together we drive trailer there's a very short snippet of it that we've also seen in the gameplay reveal when i drove past it you can see in this very slight corner now let's head back to the trailer though so as i was saying you have the inner circuit basically running throughout here and then of course you have the outer circuit which is all connected very cool there are some really nice track races along this route as well just can't wait for that so they go it's called the hippodrome by the way in case you're wondering so it drives heads here and does a beautiful drift around the uh center island whatever you want to call it continues on the roundabout i guess you could also say depending on what country you're from we you finally get some nice gameplay in the rain passes over a sharp hair in the uh <laughs> i'm dead now he has his instant challenge set to zero and it is a sharp you know we don't like sharps here driving on through again this is the underground parking garages there's a lot of these scattered throughout the island that you can explore park up chew with your mates and obviously the gate opens while you approach it nice to see that you can see some of the traffic cars throughout here as well looking clean that camera shot is probably my favorite one it's gonna head up to the huracan somewhere here and actually before i get to the huracan part i just want to point out so there are pedestrians here on what seems to be like a bridge now i don't know for sure how they're going to do pedestrians in this game whether or not we see them walking around but it seems to be at least we at minimum we're gonna have them in closed off areas because obviously our car won't be able to touch the bridge <laughs> or drive on this pedestrian bridge as there's quite a few pedestrian bridges located throughout hong kong but with that being said honestly it all depends on optimization and for all we know licensing as well the player reaches up to the hurricane for monte and now they're at a similar level so they can instant challenge they have it set to zero dollars which in the letter we did learn that you can obviously increase that to whatever you like to fifty thousand, i believe is the max but again my letter video will go in more detail about it and of course corvette wins because I mean, that was the car I was driving at the uh, reveal. I would not win. Anyways, that's the trailer pretty much, guys. Nothing really m else from that. But the letter, the letter is the real juicy part. So if you guys want to go ahead and see the letter, click on this side of the screen for more information about TDSC, guys. Hope you did enjoy the trailer breakdown. I'm Alex7. I'll see you guys on the video. I'm out. Peace.